Chapter 7, Mission of 5. If one made a vow that his wife may not go to a house of mourning to comfort the mourners or to a house of rejoicing to participate in a wedding or other celebration, that is, the wife made the vow and the husband did not cancel it, he must divorce her if she wants and give her the kasuba, because by forbidding her to attend these events, he, so to speak, locks the door in front of her. However, if he claims that the vow is needed because of something else, that is, indecent people are known to be at the events his wife wishes to attend, he is permitted to confirm the vow, and doing so does not provide grounds for divorce. In the Mishnah's next case, a wife made a vow and her husband said that he would cancel it if she fulfills a certain condition. If he said the vow is canceled on the condition that you tell so-and-so something intimate that you told me, or on the condition that you tell him something intimate that I told you, or on the condition that you fill jugs with water and pour the water onto a garbage dump, he must divorce her if she wants and give her the kasuba. Since it is absurd to expect her to do any of these things, it is as if he directly refused to cancel the vow.